Well, the traditional school library is getting a makeover and it's getting results in our schools. Morning Anchor Bridget Ellison shows us why Wilson Elementary calls theirs the STEAM Center. Getting results in our schools. Sponsored by Crayola Experience. This week we're at Wilson Elementary School in the brand new STEAM Center. This used to be the Media Center, but now students are learning through the use of more than just books. They're playing with everything from Legos to robots. So if it was straight like this, it would stay. It would if it was tilted, then it would go. The new STEAM Center is a collaborative learning space where students can hone their skills in science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. <laughs> Media Center was born from the reactions of Wilson alumni who noticed the center had not changed since their days as students. You know, we've got to do something different. We've got to make sure this space doesn't look the same as it did 20 years ago. Thanks to PTA fundraising, school funds, grants, and plenty of volunteers over the summer, the center got a big makeover. There are laptops, Legos, robots, hands-on projects, and coding exercises to stimulate students' minds. We're trying to make this go down there, and we're trying to make it go through the hole. I really like the Oso bots to move it around with Mark. When you have hands-on learning opportunities, when students are able to inquire and problem solve and work collaboratively together, those are the things that really increase engagement and um, and really foster that love for learning. And the students say they enjoy this unique space for creativity, problem solving, critical thinking, and learning through trial and error. All right, so let's see what he does. It helps your brain go, like it runs. And when it runs, you, you create more things that you want to create. School doesn't have to be paper and pencil all the time, that there's different ways they can show how creative and how smart they are. Stuff on the board that you need help with in class, and then you'll you remember it because you had fun learning about it on with the different things. And they're not done with the STEAM Center here at Wilson. The PTA along with the school is fundraising right now for phase two where they can add an outdoor classroom as well as a tinker space. I'm Bridget Ellison. I'll see you in the morning. And as always, you can find Getting Results in Our School Stories on ClickOrlando.com. Just click on the Getting Results tab. A quick reminder for you to 